we had Buddy for three to four months. Um, and like I say, he was a great dog. I loved him. Everybody in the family loved him. Unfortunately, he didn't love everybody else. <laughs> what happens when a pet is too much for its owner or the owner can no longer keep it? We set out to find the answer. This is Tucker. The following are real people, real pets, and real stories. Um, like I say, I loved Buddy. He was a great dog to me. Um, but that was his downfall in the same sense. Um, he, gosh, I'm going to cry. He, uh, he loved me, but he didn't want anyone else to come around me. So anyone else in the family, I have a 23-year-old daughter, and she was living in our apartment in the basement, and she came home one day, and Buddy wouldn't even let her on the porch without trying to bite her face off, basically. And, um, and then there was another time where my 13-year-old went to pet Buddy, and it surprised him and he snapped at her and then the then he snapped at my husband so he never did try to bite me but I think that's because he he felt like I was his person and I really really hate that we had to get rid of him and take him back to the shelter but for my family's sake and safety I had to This is Tucker. When she brought the dog to the house, I didn't really think too much of it. You know, she told me she got a new dog um, for for her daughter, and you know, it didn't. You know, I, I didn't think anything of it, and then she left and left the dog there with me. Um, and I mean, I just thought it was crazy that she just got this dog and automatically didn't want it. You know that quick. Uh, Tucker ended up passing away um, and I mean it was, it was really hard hard for me. He was uh, he was probably the best dog I've ever had um, and I mean none of it you know I would have never had Tucker if it wouldn't have been for, for her just leaving him leaving him there with me. Studies estimate that homeless animals outweigh homeless people five to one. While pets like Tucker found their way to a good home, others have not been so lucky. I guess everybody needs to be 100% sure before they decide to take a dog home that their home can handle it and the dog can handle it. Because in our situation, my situation, I could handle Buddy, but he couldn't handle the rest of the family. I would advise people if they do find themselves in a situation where they need to surrender or rehome an animal, do your research, do your background work. Um, don't just give your pet away to someone off the street because they say, hey, I'll take a free animal. Um, there are crazy people out there that will do things. Um, do vet checks. Ask them to do a home check, um, you know, where you just go to their home and see what type of living situation the animal is going to be in. Um, last resort should always be shelter and animal rescue. Um, as many people know, shelters are always full um, with highly adoptable animals. Um, check your rescues. Um, make sure that you are bringing it to one that's a reputable rescue or shelter. Um, and check their no-kill status. There's never a reason to leave your pet on the street. Be responsible. If you or someone you know can no longer care for an animal, Take it to your local shelter for care.